what we got really excited about, which is why I wanted to talk uh, with Mike, is that we were getting um, images from the radar that really made you appreciate what happens when you have an instrument like this. Normally, we have a single array. Single channel system. Single channel, right? And this thing has eight? This has got eight channels as this one. Okay. Yes. So this thing has eight channels. We're going to show you what happens inside. They're not very much, actually. It's a tiny little chip. My understanding of this, Mike, you tell me, the radar makes vertical slices through Correct. The, 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 the landscape. So this thing is taking vertical slices. And then there's a very clever bit of software and a great deal, doubtless, of skill <laughs> that puts together all these slices and lets us see the thing in plan. And what's interesting when you watch this process, which we might quickly get Mike to show us, is you can sort of dial down on the computer from the lowest levels up through the archaeology to the top levels. And what's great is that at the top you don't see very much, and then as you go down you suddenly see some nice walls and um, an entranceway, the front entrance of that Tudor Palace. Tudor Manor House. And it's fascinating that when Mike gave us those results, we were able to go into the trench and I said to him, how deep down is that? You, it's very difficult normally with geophysics to get depth. And we were able to say, how deep down are those walls you can see? And Mike was able to say, what is the depth of this? Around 1.1 to 1.2 metres depth. Now for an archaeologist, that's great. One thing we can say to the diggers, you're going to have to dig quickly because you've got one point something or other to get out, so don't hang about. But it gives us an idea of how deep the real archaeology may be happening. And that's an incredibly useful thing that, that we've begun to develop radar from. Well, would you like to see the, what's inside? Okay, I think they would. Let's uh, have a look. And there it is. Now, Mike assures me this is pretty near to radar porn, geophysics porn. This is the, the bee's knees. And what, this brings all those arrays together into a processing you've, unit? You've got multiple channels here, indeed. Yeah, yeah, um, you've got yeah. all the controls coming through to this central yeah. system here, the control unit. And there's individual boxes here, and each of those boxes are firing down a pulse. Correct. One's, one's a transmitter, one's a receiver. And am I right in thinking, when that pulse hits something solid, it bounces up and this detects that? In, in a way. In a way. Well, where we get Do you want to go of, at telling well, me what it is? we get a change of electrical properties between two objects, and that will give us some reflection. So electrical property of bricks would be different from electrical properties of uh, soil. Correct. So you yes. need you need two different properties. You need a contrast. You okay, need a contrast. Great. So you can see in here you've got massed ranks of these scanners. They're very tightly spaced. And yeah. that, that's the key to, to building yeah. up that, that good quality yeah. 3D picture. And the great virtue we also like about it is that the speed which you can do it. I mean, this is kind of pushed by the geophysics team, but this thing is cheerfully being dragged by the old JCB workmaster here, which means that on a Roman town site like um, Cunetio, which was 17... Huge. huge. How many? 11 hectares, which sounds a lot. This was able to cover that space in a remarkably quick time. So you're driving this at, I don't know, 5 to 10 miles an hour, yes. as long as it's stable. And this generates all that data from a very quick process. You then take it to the computer and the computer turns it into, into the image. So I'm at the top, top, top surface level there. And as, as Tim said, we can scroll down the data set. So we're slowly going down now. Uh, that's about 300 mil depth. There's about 500 mil depth. And we can actually see a pipe coming in across there. We keep going down now about 900. Then we can start seeing some of the features coming in. Let's scroll down slowly now. You can see the lines coming across from the round. Then we've got the inner courtyard showing. There. If we keep going down in depth, slowly fade away. And this is really state of the art. It is, it is. There's, there's nothing that, 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 can, that can beat this system. Really. Thankfully, they never came up with some name like, you know, the Excitatron. They gave it a sort of flat Marler 8 name.